everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to have a bit of a conversation and hopefully this is a conversation that um, all of you will continue oh, there we go continue in the comments below here um, this is something that has come up quite a bit and it's always in a different situation, always in a different context. But there is a group of people, and this is, I guess the best way to put this, is that this is an ageist thing. And I don't mean it to be. But um, through doing YouTube, doing BookTube, um, putting out Weird Mask, putting out Mzine, um doing the blood rag, doing um, the poetic anarchy course. And honestly, being a father of someone in this age group, there is something that I hear all the fucking time. And I only hear it from people in this age range. <clears throat> and the phrase that I hear is... What's the point? What's the fucking point? And it is usually referring to them doing something. Them sending their work out. Them um, trying to get a better job. Them going back to school. Them um, doing anything. It becomes like excuse 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 and then finally what's the fucking point i mean really like i'm just gonna get shit on anyway what's the fucking point and at first i really thought that this was just something that creators struggle with that they get so down that that just slips out and then when i started hearing friends of mine talk that way and hearing my kid talk that way about all sorts of different stuff it's a problem with the mentality of a group of people and um, I guess what I want to do in this video is to find out why that is and how to change it Right now, the way the world is, no matter how bad you think it fucking is, there is more opportunity for anyone to do anything than there's ever been in the history of the world. This is not coming from an elitist attitude. This isn't coming from privilege. There are so many avenues of being able to do anything that you can set your fucking mind to doing right now, okay? Um, 20 years ago, there weren't this many. 10 years ago, there weren't this many. And definitely, 30 years ago, there totally fucking wasn't this many. So I just want to put that out there. The second thing is, is that, like, I know things seem grim, Okay. And when you get into a depression or you get into a funk, you feel that there's no fucking way out of that. Okay. But there is. And the only way you can do anything about it is just decide to move forward. Okay, like you don't need to know where your what your end goal is going to be. You don't need to know where you're going to end up. You just need to allow yourself to give yourself permission to move forward. That that's okay. And when you do that, everything becomes a lot easier. Like if and it goes back to that whole parked car analogy. Like if there was a car on the street and it was in parked and the engine was turned off and I told you to move that car 
you would have a really fucking hard time unless you turn the car on and put it into drive. Once you do that, you can move it however the fuck you want to move it. You could go down the street, you could go up the street, you could do a K-turn for fuck's sake. You could do donuts if you wanted to. You could do anything you want because now the car is in motion. But when you sit in that parked car, you're just waiting for a semi-truck to fucking come through and blow you to smithereens. Or just sit there and have nothing ever happen in the history of forever. So, um, with all of that said, um, if you have a, like, a problem with this, if this is something that comes up to you, like, inside of you, like, you end up saying, what's the fucking point? Talk about it down below. See if anyone can give you any advice that clicks, okay? Like, all of us have our past. All of us have come from however the fuck we came from things. And um, I know a lot of people would assume, um, oh, a white dude talking about how easy it is to do stuff. And... Um, I know I had a step up compared to other people in certain areas of life, but I had a rough go of stuff, but it was either me starving, me being homeless or me doing whatever the fuck it is I could do. And without getting like too deep in the weeds on my past, there are were tons of reasons why a lot of those things were very fucking difficult for me. So, um, I know that this is a touchy subject and, um, I am definitely not trying to make light of anybody's plight by any means, but I just want you to know that in today's world and with as many avenues as there are, to have success of any kind. The only person that's holding you back from doing the things you want to do is yourself, you know? And if we want to get really fucking deep here, um, if you had ever seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and this just popped up into my head the other day and I couldn't fucking believe it. I saw Rocky Horror Picture Show probably way too early. Like, I think I was like 13 when I saw it the first time. And I immediately loved the music and um, I was just enamored by the whole fucking thing. And I was listening to the soundtrack the other day, dancing around the house, doing whatever the fuck it is I'm doing. And this song started playing. And it's a song that I've known ever since I've seen the movie. And um, I, I remember many, many times over the years singing it to myself while I'm fucking going about my everyday life. And I think that this song embedded itself into my brain at an early age. And I think that really helped. And it's kind of silly to talk about it like this. But the thing of the song is like, don't dream it, be it, okay? And um, I understand that the context of the song is like, you know, don't dream about being somebody who dresses this way and lives life a certain way. Be that thing. But I think that fucking like rule goes way beyond that to anything. Don't dream being what you want to be. Be the thing you want to be. Just do. It's like... I've been saying just do for fucking years. And um, I really think that it might have stemmed from don't dream it, be it kind of thing. And um, if I could just give any advice to anyone watching this who feels like what's the fucking point, just, you know, you have dreams. Like, no matter how fucking, um, oh, what's the goddamn motherfucking point? No matter how deep and dark you are in that thought, you have dreams. You have aspirations. There are things that you would love to do with yourself, with your life. What are those things? Identify what those things are and fucking do them. 
just do the thing. And if it's hard and you don't know how to do it, Google it. Like, that sounds fucking stupid, but for fucking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, motherfuckers had to fucking figure out how to do shit without Google. And now it's there for us to fucking use whenever we see fit. Fucking YouTube it, you know? If you need to, like, find out how to achieve your goals and you really have no idea, search. Like, he who searcheth findeth. Like, whatever the fuck that kind of shit is. But to just sit there and say, what's the fucking point? Just know that when you do that, you are saying to your misery, I love you, misery. Let's be a couple. Let's have a relationship where we, like, cuddle in our misery. That's, that's what that is. So, again, don't dream it. Be it do the fucking thing there is a fucking point and um your happiness your future is that fucking point so take care of yourself and fucking do the thing okay see you later i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew or the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you